Hey, what's up fellas? Check it out. We are out here at the jetties. We got some good old live shrimp. Really, really small live shrimp. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta use the live bait during winter. I'm sad and all, yeah. Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know, yeah. Suicide if you ever try to let me go. I'm sad and all, yeah. I'm sad and all, yeah. You might have a bite. You might be saying that. Maybe a bite, dude. That's a bite. What is it, though? Oh, let's go. That's the targeted species, baby. Oh my god, that is the smallest sheeper I've ever seen caught by anybody. And you better believe I'm the one who got him. That's awesome. I'm the man. I'm the man. Look at that little man. Cute little dude. Alright man, you're going back. Hopefully. Ooh, that's a soft shrimp. Will the soft shrimp work? I was trying to fish the eddies, but what happened was... I was just letting it drift. Drift with the current. Feels like it would be hard hard for them to, to find it. A little bit dirty water in this current. But I'm always surprised about how fish are able to find the bait. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna make one more shrimp, shrimp sheep's head drift here and then we're gonna move on to the next spot. We'll find out when we get our shrimp or our lack of it. It's gotta be something though, right? There he is, <laughs> little man. It, it is a sheeper, man, but they're just tiny over here. All right, we're gonna have to switch spots, boys. Sheepers don't have to be too big, only about 15. But there's no way, this is 15. The chompers, you always gotta look at the chompers of these guys, and you do not wanna put your freaking finger in there. All right, so we did find some of those sheepers, but uh, we're gonna have to move spots, man. They're just too small here. All right, spot number two has been reached. We're here. And this spot is good for speckled trout, like I said, and also sheep's head. So we're gonna get the, uh, we're gonna get that bobber out there, but we're also probably gonna send some shrimp on the bottom. Which one do you think will strike first, the bottom rig or the bobber rig? Bite, 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 bite. Get it, brother. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, he didn't get it. I suck. <laughs> Dang, he ravaged the tail on this guy. Savage. I know there's there's a there's one rock. I can't oh my gosh, what a cast, what a cast, Coop. There's one rock that I can't see right now, but it's out there about right there. Sometimes it holds a lot of fish. That's definitely a bite. That's definitely a bite. It's another dinker though. Give me a little bit bigger dinker. That's the rock, that's the rock. I might have been on the rock I was talking about too. All right, this is the biggest one so far, and it's still freakishly small. But I'm gonna, I'm taking all the bites we can get. Actually, that's a lot bigger than the last two. It's cool how they can change colors too. That might actually almost be a keeper. Yep, <laughs> it's, it's too small, but dang, that's 14. Almost, almost made it. Whoa, Mr. Pelly, I didn't know you were right there. You don't want to eat this, I don't think. Wait, you gonna eat a sheep's head? You gotta be joking, brother. So what I'm targeting is I can barely make out some of the rock edges straight out there and I'm passing just beyond those where there's a little bit of a ledge because that's where the sheep's head are gonna stack up and they're gonna be feeding feeding on those rocks, barnacles and crustaceans. Oh, it's a red, no wonder. Red fish. There's a sheeper for us. There's a sheeper for us. Or is it a redfish? That was quick. That's feeling like a red, huh? No, not into the rocks, my dude. My gosh, dude, okay. It's a little bit nicer to fight one of these guys than those tiny sheepers. It's a freaking redfish. Well, we might have to eat a redfish. This might be, he's looking pretty big there. Dude, these guys are just crushing the rocks. What I think is happening, you can see there's a billion birds out there. I think what's happening is there's a ton of, ton of shrimp 
they're like migrating out of the bay right now. Ah, oh, there he is. Woo! The, hey, that's unexpected. An unexpected fish. And I'm loving it. Check out that freaking small little hook in there too. 25 and a half. Perfect. That slip bobber rig right there is deadly, man. At, at the jetties, you can put a live shrimp down there in the fish's faces and they're just gonna eat it up. Boys, I thought we got rocked up. But I think we got a keeper finally. Oh, heck yeah. That's a keeper. Heck yeah. Oh, if we can land him. Oh, is it though? I think it is. I think it is. That's what we've been looking for. Dang, dude. I thought the hope was lost. We were hitting every single rock up and down this jetty. We found them though. What do you think, fellas? You think that's over 15? I'm gonna say yes. An easy 16 and a half. All right, fella, don't bite me. Oh yeah, baby. 16 and a quarter, maybe, and a half. Did I call that? And that's why I use some live shrimp at the jetties, fellas. You never know. You never know what you're gonna hook up on. We were going for these guys, and these guys are gonna be tasty. Sometimes you hook up on something even a little bit bigger. Life's good, man. Life's good. Now we just gotta think how we're gonna cook these suckers up. All right, gentlemen, I got the play, man. It's such a nice day out right now. We're gonna head out to the beach. Might be a little bit cold, but I love the beach regardless. And <laughs> we got some nice fish to cook up out there too. I don't really care if you cry. All the real you should have never lied. Should have saw the way she looked me in my eyes. She said, baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. This is why I love the beach, man. It's beautiful, and there's some fish in there too. We're gonna put a rod or two out there, but we're also gonna get to flaying real quick here. All right, we got one rod out, but it's time to flay these guys up. All right, we got some sheep's head and we got some redfish. Which one do you think looks better? And they, look, they both look like they're gonna be real tasty to me. All right, we got the propane stove. Let's see if we can start this guy up. And this time we're not exactly in the living room, are we? We're somewhere a lot, a lot better. Start it up, hell yeah. Woo. All right, we, we got a couple fillets for right now, but we also have some extra for back home too. <laughs> All right, you know we're coming in with my man, Cayenne, right there. And a little bit, as always, Cajun seasoning as well. And then limes on top of that. Dude, this is freaking awesome. We're cooking some good fish on a beautiful day. I should, I think I should do this more often. This is the right way to spend the day, I think. All right, let's get some of these guys in the pan, boy. During the winter, we do lose a lot of our big old fish from the jetties uh, during this colder weather. So sometimes you gotta get out there and go for some sheep's head. There's some cool fish too, and they don't taste bad either. And we're out here at the beach for a reason too. We got the rod out. It's a good time of year for some pompano, which is also one of the best eating fish there is. All right, that sheep's head is a lot thinner, so we're gonna get that guy out first. <laughs> Check it out, piping hot, piping hot sheep's head right there. And of course, we got a little bit more lime. But I used to eat a lot of sheep's head back in the day, but it's been a while since I had some, so let's see how good it is. Really freaking good, wow. That is actually like super good. That's like some of the best fish I've had in a while. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the redfish can beat this. We got this redfish and we still have two more fillets, man. The redfish is good, but man, that sheep's head was killer. I'm gonna have to go out there and get some more sheep's head. Dude, we need to do it unseasoned on that sheep's head too. I don't, it might be up there. All my friends are dead, push me to the edge. All my friends are dead, push me to the edge. Well, fellas, we did not get that pompano, but still a killer day. And I'm thinking, we're gonna be going for more of these pompano coming up in the future. Right now, sheep's head are one of my favorite fish. <laughs> so we're gonna be going for those guys too as well. Hey, I love you guys very much. We'll catch you guys next time. Might be getting a bite right now. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, we're catching all the good eating fish today. A whiting. That's a bigger guy too. Man, these guys are really good eating as well. And of course, when you're trying to catch some pumps, you're gonna catch some whiting along the way. We'll let that man go though. You better run from that bird, my dude. Run! Or I swim, I guess. <laughs>